Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial. I am Shanjay from Softship.com. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to design professional divisions and professional boxes and professional stylish table design using CSS and HTML. I will use Visual Studio to do this in context of ASP document. Okay. So, so to start that, go to Visual Studio, open Visual Studio and uh, click on new project. Once you click on new project, it will prompt you to choose the template. So here you will choose Visual C Sharp and Web and ASP MT Web application. Give a name as HTML. CHS and uh, give your location of the project and the solution name will be automatically the name of the project so click ok once you click ok it will create an empty solution in solution explorer you can see here this is the solution explorer in the right side so here you will find all the files that we will manage uh, in this project. So, it's still loading. Project, project Explorer is still loading. So, here you can find this is the project that has been created. You will find there is no SPX file or HTML file. Now, as this is a, as we have selected a blank, you know, uh, solution. That's why the bare minimum things are there except the actual uh, web web uh, files. Now we have to add a SPX page and new item. Here choose a web form okay and give a name. All ASP.NET web forms are uh, extension with the a.aspx. Give a name home okay. home.aspx. Click add. Now you will see home.aspx is added to our solution. Now we will add a CSS file and project so this is our uh, home.aspx ggsp.net uh, web page now <coughs> here I will get two divisions This is one div and uh, I will also add a table here. Um, here I have one division and one table. Okay. Now I will add some controls here in the division. Let's say uh, let's let's copy some sample text to use in our project.
So here we will copy some text that we will use in our project. Let's go to the student. Here I will paste the text in my division. And in my table, I will add some to you. This that I have given for this division and for this table. Let's run this you know, um, web page to see how it looks like for when it is rendering in browser. To do that, that can be this page page and click set and start page and click on this start debugging uh, run button. Once you click this, the visual studio try to run this web page in a browser either internet explorer or any other browser that you have selected so let's try to running your web page and let's see how this division and table looks like in a browser now this is So a division and a table. So you can see here, this is our division and this is the table, which is which is not you know uh, identified properly that this is a table or this is a division. We will now do the CSS part, CSS part uh, to stylize this table and division. Now stop this debugging and right click here, add a new folder called as CSS. I click the folder and add a new item. The item would be the CSS file. We will find here, if you click web, we will find a style sheet here. This is the style sheet where all styles are there. Give a name styles. Now, once you add the style.css file, will be added in our solution. So, here we can define our style in this styles.css document. Now, let's say so delete this the existing one. We will design. We will add CSS for the division. Okay. Now I will create a class file. Let's
now I have to find a CSS property. Now what I will do, I will save it and copy this style. I will go to the component space and in the division I will have the tag college class. the class which will be used by the division and this division will render accordingly with the style that will be defined in this uh, class. Now save it and we have to first given we have to first link this CSS into this home protest page. That's why click this and drag Drag here. Now it will link the style sheet to form the text box. Now give the title of this page. Uh, now try to run it. Now we will see a difference in the style, but we have seen in the previous rendering style. Uh, now what it looks like it looks like a well marginated area right with the padding and with the matching and all that. Now we will also do uh, the style for this table because this looks very odd and this doesn't represent like a table. So go to here do this and here stop this. Now we will design the style for table. Right, like this, all table will inherit the style from this CSS. If you write a class file dot table, then any table which, has, which is having class edge table will only have this style. So let's define a class for the timing table style. Let's say order the class class. Now 
I can see here there is a demarcation you know, uh, in which like but still we can have one more Accordingly, if you want to you know, uh, change the border style of the division, uh, you can make it as uh, Now you can play with this uh, table design and the uh, deep design by changing the color. Let's say I will change the design one second by changing the background color.
how you can design the thing accordingly so accordingly I can send the other color of the rules in our key table How you can design if you are more, you know, more rules than it will also take time. You can see this is the style of the table. Also make the table corners a curvy one like this style and go to table design and make This is how you can you know, design your table uh, accordingly. So, let's add some more here. Sample test, so you will have to go your job to add your uh, text. Now, this is how this is when the it's time.
can change also the font style of the division. Let's see. So this is how you can design your uh, division and style. So now you can play around. So thank you guys, uh, this is how we can design, so the point is, uh, you play around the CSX styles, background colors and you know, uh, borders, patterns, markings and the font styles, etc. Uh, then you will have a proper, you know, professional style design, you need to understand how uh, you want know, style suits are, you know, style classes are defined and how to use in our web page. Okay, so this is the ASP.NET page. You can also add this, you know, the functionality using HTML because uh, uh, HTML also supports CSS and web.net also supports CSS. The main important thing is to link the CSS to the web page. After that, uh, define the class to the web element uh, to the HTML tag to correspond to the correct style. So, thank you for the time being. Uh, I will come with uh, another tutorial with uh, some more exciting tutorials. So, for the time being, uh, you can also visit my site or in subject.com, which is uh, specifically designed for blogs and articles and resources for dynamics, sharing guides for developers and also I am covering all ASP.NET related and CSS related uh, facts and tutorials. We have also a you know, uh, YouTube channel where you can get uh, enough uh, video tutorials with free uh, with zero cost. So I recommend you subscribe the channel and uh, also click the bell icon for a notification of the website so thank you again see you